Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. I have a new headset. Woohoo! So... I'm not exactly sure how well it's gonna record. But, ah! Uh, on this way. So... I have done a little bit, I'm sorry. I was recording last night and it didn't go how I wanted it to. I didn't quite want to look around and look exactly like the blithering idiot. So... Basically, these three statues were standing in a line and pushed them in place, and then it unlocked the gate up here. And this is kind of the forbidden Abadosian. Or, no, not Abadosian. But this is basically the forbidden temple that we're going in. So, now that I actually understand what to do can actually look like I know what's going on. Uh -huh. Isn't that fun? Well, anyways, let's let the informative gaming begin. <laughs> At least to some degree, eh? Alright, so here is this temple. Let's get a look. Isn't this beautiful? Look at this. Oh, I just want to take a picture of it. Make it last forever. I feel like if I threw a rock, it just echo and echo and echo and echo. It would be amazing and fun. Okay, so over there was a gate, a uh, gate that I needed to burn down, and I did, and it had a lift key, and... Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god. There. Do not sass me. Okay, so, actually, question, do I have said key still in my... I can't see if I do or not. I don't. The keys need to go up there. So... I'll show you this in a minute. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, shit, whistles. thing is having enough of these guys. So just grab and push and I will explain a little bit more in a sec. So just hold on. There we go. Use key. And turn on magic. I know. It says it right there. Okay. I know it doesn't make too much sense at the right now present. But it will. I just need you to Bear with me, so to speak. Eek, run from the baddies. Okay. So, I did the puzzle here. The puzzle went blue, yellow, blue, yellow, red, green, blue, green. That's how it went. Okay? And I came in here. I fought a, one of those dog things. Crab hands, I believe that's what they're officially called. Opened up the chest and got a starts. Ta-da! And basically they freeze things, if you can imagine that. And they also allow me to freeze things so I can jump on them. So I can make baddies into potential platforms. And I can lift them via... Let's see. What's over there? The other one, the arm do you? I can freeze those and actually lift them up so I can use them as pressure blocks, which is very nice. So was it there? No, it wasn't. I'm quite okay with this. Oh, buddy! Oh, I know, he's just a little blade scorpion. He doesn't mean any harm. But yes, now you're all caught up on anything that you missed. So, actually I checked this out, and it doesn't ultimately matter which way you go. There are two ways you can go, and it doesn't matter. So, for the sake of shaking things up a little bit, and getting some good use out of the ice starts, we'll go this way first. Uh, thought I missed it. I'm glad I did not. Hooray for accuracy! Man. Okay, 
Let's run amok. Run amok. I may notice my money count is up or something or other. Does anyone actually pay attention to my money count? I am just curious. Okay, so we have pressure plates here. And they open that door. Now what's in that door? I'm not going to tell you. You're just going to have to stay tuned for that one. Okay, so first off, we fire at this. And then we got our ice start ready. Because freeze you. See, this is just how we do it, and drop. There we go. Number one. Complete. It is much better if you use the standard darts, just because you'll save on passing of the ice darts. But it's not mandatory at all. You can't use the ice darts. It's not like they don't starve you of ammo. Ever. I just find it easier, and because I am always one for ammo conservation, believe it or not, I may not have shown it, but I actually really truly am. Uh oh, freeze you, thank you. So, here we go, and here's the last one, you only need three. Ta-da, magic, because I am number four. Oh my gosh, movie reference. <laughs> Thumbs up if you saw that movie. And this is what the cliff key at the beginning had, so oof. Oh my gosh, I found a key! And this is why it doesn't matter which way you go. And you can't progress unless you get the darts, so it's not like you're set up for failure. And technically, I can just go straight over here. Because I don't want to. It actually is much more time efficient if you come straight here. I went back to the standard platform last night and found that it was not ultimately as productive. So guess what? Where are my DOs? They actually do have use. Take my time. One thing that I did want to talk about, which if that isn't already obvious, is always expect enemies where you can't expect them because they don't spawn, dang it, they don't spawn out of just literally thin air, then they will. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, again, darn it. Your contribution is much appreciated. And, oh, okay. run, 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 run. You can't catch me, I'm the leather clad man. time, believe it or not. Woo! Just like that. Okay, this is the part that I messed up on. And it's not like it's extremely hard or difficult concept. There's just plenty of room for failure. Believe it or not. The controls on this game. Ah! It's like that. The controls on the game are a little... Ah, dang it, that was my fault. The controls on the game are a little bit tricky. Yay, found the final key. Alright. And do need to double jump because standard jump won't quite tell Sphinx what to do. He's a little clueless on single jumps. There we go. You can save the world, but he just needs to be told how to jump and what to catch through your jumpings. And for the heck of it, right there. <laughs> All right. There's no coughing over there, so there's no point. Unless you just want to get a really nice view of the place. So we got the two other keys, which are going- Whoa. Whoa. Do you hear that? What was that? Oh my gosh. That was- I don't even know. It sounded to me like... Sharp weapon was being brandished in a fiendish manner. That's good. He drops me into staring at things. Hold on, you know where we go? Break this. Oh, this. I saved it when I had all things. 
Alright, so let's get this guy over here. He should notice us before too long. Hey! Hey! Hey, get over here. Yeah, you! Oh, darn burgers. No, not you. Okay. Oh, I froze them both of them. Oh well. And look, I can shatter! Shatter! Oh, these are both vulnerable. That's awesome. Uh, except for that. That was not so awesome. Where did they go? Ugh. Oh, that was dumb. Ugh. Oh, this is not good. You told me I could shatter them. Vomiting water gratuitously for never really. That must be quite a nuisance. And I've had about enough of you. Dang it, and I missed again. I'm not as good at shooting the police as I like to think I am. Alright, you in the meantime, come here, please. Hey. Hey. Come here. Seems to give him a good zap in the butt. Come here. There we go. Right, nice and easy. Just like that. And can I shatter you? Ugh, I don't care. I'm just gonna throw you off. Woohoo! Yeah. Bye bye. Have fun flying. At least I did not kill it out of the generosity of my heart. I think it all depends on the density of their bones. Alright, let's go. Go, go, go. Let's go quickly to this direction. Just like that. Alright. Here we go. And this is what I was talking about. I expect. Expect enemies to just everywhere. But you should already figure that out if you're paying attention to this at all. I'm just saying for the sake of any game, really. Especially Dead Space. That really seems like a game you need to be aware of. I played it though, so I don't actually know. Ah! Just like that. Okay. okay, so we've come to this location, and instead of being barfed on by blood, we're going to teleport! Believe it or not, we're halfway done with this. Isn't that lovely? I'm gonna go for a few more minutes, I think. Maybe. Or I could just cut it here and have a slightly... Well, actually, it's a standard size video for me. It all depends. Okay. So thankfully, there are no enemies around not need to worry. But, let's go have a gander at the place and not fall off into the lava. There's one place, there's another place, here's another place. Oh boy, here's something to shatter. Great! This is my bunnies. Yes, okay. So, being very cautious, we can pop and... Okay. Yay. Okay. Oh, 
also you need to be very mindful of the end. So, oh, but what are we going to do now? I think I'm going to cut it here. So, next time on Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy, we shall continue. And I think this is my 50th video, if I remember correctly. So, happy 50 bits to me. This is a much longer project than I anticipated, silly me. But that's not ultimately a bad thing. So, happy gaming, and see you next time. Good day.